Okay, so in my sentry mode video, I said that you need to always turn on sentry mode every time you park the car. And I also said that that will be changed in the latest version of the software. And now I got the latest version, and I just wanted to show you uh, the different features that is implemented in this one. After the intro. Alright, so if you go into settings, safety and security, uh, the last time I showed you, you had a uh, sentry mode on off here, that's been removed, and instead you have this sentry mode on or off, and this indicates uh, whether sentry mode will be always on or always off when you park your car, and then you can exclude for instance, uh, your home location, that's set in the navigation software, and you can exclude work, and you can also exclude favorites. Uh, so uh, if you use this favorites, uh, you can, if you want to add a favorite, say for instance, okay, I don't want to have uh, sentry mode um, being activated near this area, I can just click on that heart there, and I will add that to favorites, and then uh, sentry mode will not be um, uh, recording in that area. Another new feature is that you now have an icon up here. So uh, if you have it to always off or always on, and uh, for some reason you don't want it to uh, record or you want it to record, depending on, uh, you can just click this one and now it's activated and now it's not activated anymore. So that's really convenient. Um, I think uh, this is a big improvement of the sentry mode um, activation and deactivation and how you control sentry mode. Uh, so I guess the next step for Tesla to implement, uh, for me at least, would be um, the possibility to review the footage directly on the screen in the car. So you could say, okay, uh, this is, th these are only false positives, just delete them. Uh, as it is now, you need to bring your uh, USB stick to your computer or your phone and uh, go over the material. Uh, another nice feature that would have been uh, good if Tesla implemented uh, was to have two different folders. Now you have uh, recent clips and saved clips and all the... Uh, dash cam footage that you manually have saved uh, clicking on the dash cam icon on your screen and the sentry mode footage are in the same uh, folder so you, you can't actually know if it's sentry mode that's recorded it or uh, the dash cam feature unless you watch the footage so uh, it would be really nice if you could just have say a sentry mode folder and a dash cam folder and then uh, that way you could separate the footage all right so uh that there we go uh, i think it's uh, as i said a big improvement and uh well i hope you get this update soon if you already haven't got it so thanks for watching drive safely and i see you in the next one <laughs>